I'm going to call to order uh, the meeting of June 16th, 2014 for the Arlington Redevelopment Board. Um, uh, we had a couple hearings on the agenda for this evening at first. Uh, <clears throat> we are going to, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, the first hearing was in respect of the environmental design review uh, to amend the special permit for the town to construct parking spaces at 594 to 600 Mass Ave. Uh, this has been withdrawn without prejudice by the uh, by the applicants on that one, um, so uh, we will not be having a hearing in respect of that at seven o'clock. We have another one that's scheduled for seven thirty, the environmental design review hearing uh, to reopen the special permit to reface signs at eighty two Mystic Street, Valvoline. That's scheduled for seven thirty, um, and we will be doing that at seven thirty as it is a hearing. So what we're going to do instead is is uh, right now on our agenda we have for eight o'clock the certificate of completion for Arlington 360, uh, and uh, we're going to move that up uh, to seven o'clock uh, as well as the other items if we get through that one um, prior to our hearing at seven thirty. So um, I think uh, well I know all of you bless you uh, I know all of you have received um, in your packet uh, the uh, draft certificate of completion. Um, as you might recall, we did a, um, a completion memo uh, about a month and a half ago now, um, and uh, what we realized after the fact was that we needed something a little bit more formal uh, with respect to the completion that could be recorded. Um, so what we've done is we've had uh, Jonathan Book at Foley Hoag uh, put together uh, this certificate of completion. Um, it's been commented on by the uh, 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 by the uh, um, uh, by Ar Arlington 360 and uh, the certificate of completion is for the residential component of Arlington 360 of the Sims project so the on the hill not the uh, assisted living only on the residential piece um, you should have also received an email from Carol today that had a couple of um, changes uh, that had come uh, from Jonathan book as well after a discussion um, the uh, certificate with uh, uh, with Arlington 360's council. So, um, <clears throat> so with that, I think I'll open it up to any uh, questions or comments from the uh, from the board. Bruce, um, I have uh, a couple of uh, non-substantive comments, sort okay. of stylistic points. Um, I, I think it's fine as drafted, but these I think are corrections. Um, in the third line, uh, when we talk about sort of the history of the uh, of the uh, LDA, um, the word originally appears there, and uh, we're saying has originally amended on three different occasions. So it strikes me that we probably could it would read better without originally there. Yeah. Um, okay. The next comment is very minor, uh, and it about uh, it's still in that first paragraph, but the third sentence from the bottom. Um, just after the date, December 13th yep. of 2011, we've been using it, the rest of the document has a comma after the year. So just to be consistent, I put the comma in there. Okay. Then, slightly more substantively, in um, the second paragraph, end of the fifth line, it references the foreclosure deed. Yep. And I think that we really want to use the word to instead of by because the foreclosure deed ran to the redeveloper. It wasn't the redeveloper foreclosing a mortgage, but the redeveloper bought. So yep. they, uh, the foreclosure deed went to the redeveloper. Other than that, this is fine as far as I can see. Okay. Andrew, I don't have anything beyond, beyond that. Okay. I'm fine. Andy? I'm fine. And as was I. So, um, in favor of this as well. And um, Carol, <coughs> just from a um, just from a, a, a timing perspective, I think what we can do, I don't think any of those changes will affect the pagination of the completion certificate. So what I would suggest is that um, we, uh, I, I think let's move to approve it as amended. Um, by Bruce's three uh, comments and uh, or three change, three uh, small changes uh, and then um, we can make those changes um, 
administratively mm -hmm. afterwards. So there was an, a comma after 2011 in the first paragraph. Right. And took the originally out. Took the originally, originally out of out of the third, third line, line. Just line. strike Correct. that. Correct. Yeah. Actually, I'll mark it on this. Okay. That way, the one I signed, and then okay. that and then way. Okay. can correct those. Exactly. Okay. Very good. So let me let me do that, and I'll do it a little bit more neatly than I did here. Is that in second to room? Yeah, there it is, right there. Okay, so those three changes are made. Um, does anyone want uh, to? So what I'd like to do is, is even though we did approve the memo, I want I would like to make sure that we approve the more formal um, uh, certificate of completion. So I'll entertain that. Um, I, I that. move that the uh, certificate of completion has amended be approved, and that uh, the chair be authorized to sign on behalf of the board. Seconded. Great. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so Mr. Carrot, do you swear that the uh, substance of the of the certificate is accurate and truthful and that uh, you're signing this voluntarily? I do. Personal knowledge, known to me. Known to you. Yeah. Actually, when I take the staple out, so. Now he doesn't have seal. Yeah. Are you doing boss it? No. Everyone likes the seal, of course, but that's not. Everyone thinks it's the key. I did. Next package high condition is on there. It's acceptable. You're a notary as well. Yes. Good to know. You'll be I've called. Never done it for some reason. I just have never come around to it. Is the um, Eli's decision still going around for signatures? It's just we're waiting for Christine. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. So I'll make those changes or a new one on the front page and. Then it's good to go. Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay. Um, moving on. Um, next, we're going to move to the um, meeting schedule. Did you want to talk about that, Carol? Or should we do the minutes first? Or? Take a quick uh, drink of water. Oh, sure. I'll allow Okay. What's up? I'll, I'll allow it. Okay, I'll be right back. Excuse me. I forgot to do it on the way in. <clears throat> um, yeah, well, how far out were you trying to go on the meeting schedule? Do you think? Um, we, I don't, I brought it last week and I did, last month and I didn't bring it this time. Okay. But I don't think we have any proposed dates in August. We don't have to meet in August unless we get hearings. Um, we have a he we have a hearing scheduled I think July 9th for signs at 30-50 Mill Street. Um, uh, 9th or 16th? 16th because that's when we're doing the Verizon thing. Right? Okay, that's right. So at the moment I don't have anything until then. I am working on uh, Actually, that doesn't make sense. No, it's July 7th. 7th. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there going, wait a second. That doesn't, that doesn't <laughs> Meeting that doesn't on the Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That doesn't, yeah. That doesn't ring true because the 4th is a Friday, I think. Right. right. So. We may want to uh, prepare a letter for either for. The property owner at Thank you, Mike. Oh, sure. Um, the Verizon property. Right. 
either a letter to the owner or a letter to the zoning enforcement officer um, reviewing what the violations are as far as the special permits are concerned. Uh, we have to work with the attorney to try to summarize what the, to summarize violations. Uh, okay. Do, do we, if the owner isn't going to get back to us on anything? I mean, have we had any kind of correspondence with the owner at this point? Not since that hearing. No, and not in not, recent years. Not before not in recent years. I mean, there's, there are thick files of correspondence. I guess I'm skeptical of, of putting too much effort into anything unless, you know, we're, um, you know, so so now we're talking about, um, and, and maybe this is off track because it is a hearing, so maybe we should mm -hmm. do it all in hearing. Yeah. Um, probably makes the most sense. So anyway, but I, I guess my advice would be is I think the owner really needs to step up to the plate here. Mm -hmm. And if they're not willing to, I think I'd, I'd, I'd maybe let Verizon know that the owner isn't willing to step up to the plate and help them as their tenant. Yeah. So that might be helpful to the to I'll the uh, check in with tenants. Dan Klasnick. I'll let him know that this extension is on its way back yep. to him. And I'll check in with him and see what I'm just asking if he's made any progress with the owner, because I think that's what that's what the board had said the last time. So and without that kind of help I'm, I'm, from what I heard and I'm only seeing what I heard at the last meeting without getting into it. Um, okay. So <clears throat> uh, just to finalize on meetings, though, I know next week uh, is the joint meeting going forward. The joint meeting is going to be postponed. Okay. Until after some of the recommendations for the master plan have been drafted. Okay. I want to, um, since the words master plan escape my lips, I have to remind you that uh, the, the visual preference survey is online. It's t it only takes about two minutes to okay. do, maybe five. Um, but I'd be surprised if it takes that long. It's fun, and the event last week was pretty well attended. Oh, I think good. 75 people participated. Oh, um, so I hope you will take, an, uh, you know, take a couple minutes to do that. It's, do you subscribe to town notices? I don't want to put anyone on the spot, but if you don't, you should. Um, because there's no excuse because the content is right in the subject line. Oh, you nice. don't even have to open. So um, if you subscribe to Town Notices, you will always be able to be aware of what's going on with the master plan, including the uh, link to the survey. Okay. If you can't find a link to the survey, let me know. Okay. So no meeting next week, June 23rd. Right. Um, can you just let Christine know that? Yes. Please. Thanks for the reminder. Um, there are, I don't think we're, we're scheduled for the 30th? No. No? Nope. No. So July seventh would be the next meeting. Would be the next meeting. Okay. Okay. So July seventh, and I guess play by year after that. I don't think we have anything scheduled right now. I'll confirm. I'll look and um, at the upcoming meeting calendar and confirm. Yeah, that'd be good. Do. You do have um, a couple signs. Um, the board already, I'm going to slide this down to you if you forgive my rudeness. Um, <laughs> that didn't work. Oh, right. Um, so take a quick look at that and we can talk about that later, whether you think that's necessary for. Yeah, we've been informed that um, the urgent care, remember we approved signs for urgent care um, about a, probably two months ago anyway. Um, is not going into that space. Um, instead, it's going to be a Sherman Williams uh, paint store. At least that's the notion. Am I talking about right. school? Or? Yeah. Nope. Okay. You're uh, right. <laughs> um, so, so the notion is, is that the signs have kind of followed what was approved for the urgent care. So the question is, is can we can staff administratively uh, take a look at them versus uh, bringing it all back to us yet again? And I just have to talk to Carol about that, so I just need to do that and come back. So, so I think that's for I mean, Carol to uh, talk about. But so, you know. um, okay, do, should we talk about minutes? I think we have the minutes of. 
June 2nd, 2014. Bruce, let me start up, please. Um, okay, so um, I believe Daniel Klasnick, his last name is spelled K L A S N I C K. And that uh, should be correct in about six different places throughout the agreement, uh, throughout the minutes. Um, and instead of saying that he's from Verizon Wireless, I think it's more appropriate to say representing or attorney for Verizon Wireless. The rest of that sentence is fine. Um, on this back page, the paragraph that begins Jonathan Fink of 10-12 Quincy Street, um, the second sentence where he said that the Great Boston Motorsports staff has plowed him out a couple times. I would add, for which he expressed gratitude, because mm -hmm. he was thankful about, about that. And then add, but that he has continued to feel the effect of the parking issues. So, and I'll give you a second, Carol. <coughs> when you're ready. Okay, go ahead. And then further down about uh, the, the next longer paragraph, but it begins with Wendy Hibbert at 1517 Higgins Street. Mm -hmm. The sentence, the third sentence, it says, she asked that the board to please not make a decision. I would just strike to, to please. So the sentence would read, she asked that the board not make a decision that would result in this property owner making additional income. Oh, and then one more. <laughs> uh, the uh, one sentence paragraph that begins, Mr. Fitzsimmons moved to continue the hearing. That should be to 2014, not to 2104, because I'll, I'll go on the record that I don't perceive being on the board for 90 more years. Speak for yourself. Well, you might still be here. Right? Exactly. You're young. I hope you'll both serve as long as you can. <laughs>
two minutes. By my watch, I think we're at 7.30. So uh, I'm going to call to order the uh, hearing, um, environmental design review hearing to reopen the special permit to reface signs at 82 Mystic Street, Valvoline. Um, I believe the applicant is here. If you want to come up and tell us about your plan, that would be great. <coughs> Yeah, I guess you're solo. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll I was going to call it. Peter's my representative. Uh, we'll, my name is uh, Peter Marsh from the Hampshire Science, 60 Old Bailey Road, Union Bay, New Hampshire. Great, thank you. And I'm, I'm Barry Gluck. I'm with Henley Enterprises. We're the franchisee of the Belvoir okay. Instant Oil Change, based out of Newton, Mass. request that you regard this as the uh, as, uh, as the uh, level of what we're, what we're looking for on this site and there's uh, there four pages the last one of which is a good uh, um, plot with a very simple hand going sketch essentially the building has uh, signage on two sides and that has a, an unlettered warning on the third side and we'll obviously discuss all three of those. Um, they've been to our knowledge on the building for something like uh, 20 years and in that time Valvoline has changed its corporate logo and changed its look. We're also in a state of moderate disrepair uh, obviously, uh, as time passes, signage gets cracked and praised, and the letter and signage is uh, it's not what it used to be. And in this particular case, uh, we're looking to replace those signs with something uh, that reflects the new Valvoline look, but also that is newer in terms of uh, some of the technology that we're going to use. Um, so if we, if we were able to start with side, what is marked side A. Essentially that is the side that uh, appears as you'd be heading roughly southeast down mm -hmm. Mystic Street. It's the area, it's the part of the building that customers go into to have their oil changed. And they obviously drive through an exit on the other side. Um, the current sign is, a, is an awning type sign. Uh, it's attached under the soffit and it has internal uh, fluorescent lights. No, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Not illuminated. So it has uh, it's 
so, so it has a, a but it does have an awning type um, frame to it. So the, the material, the fa it's a fabric material. So essentially, what we're looking to do is to replace that in its entirety. The uh, it's the it's the the awning. It's the it's the fabric that's being that's replaced. Correct, the yeah. existing frame, all the dimensions are exactly the same. Yeah. So they're okay. simply stretching. They'll drop it. So we'll pull it off. Uh, put a new the fabric on the existing frames. Um, so what you see is essentially going to be is going to be replaced. So that is what I meant to say. Um, the Valvoline logo has changed, and what we're we're currently at is a, around 60 square feet for that signage. We're looking to drop that um, by roughly 15 square feet to, to an aggregate of 45.7 uh, square feet. Okay. Uh, what that will do is it'll conform to the Valvoline image a little bit better. Obviously, because we're renewing the uh, signs, it'll, it'll improve the look of the site. And um, from a planning point of view, it'll bring us close to, to the conforming size of uh, 40 square feet. It's not entirely at that, but it, but it is a, a legally non-conforming structure. Uh, I'll ask a question on this one. Um, it, it's still not illuminated, correct? It's still not illuminated. Okay. Yeah. No, nothing uh, is is changing in terms of the physical structure, other than they're just they're going to take off the existing right. fabric and put it in. Okay. Great. Any other questions from board members on this one? The slight change in color. Is that right? No, it that's more clean. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Okay. It's the other one's years twenty years faded. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's, that's yeah. more printer issue than a color issue. Okay. Uh, the other one really is faded and, and pinkish because it is it's so it's old. weathered. Uh, yeah. and, it's <laughs> um, and then there's the little boxes on the on the plan here around the uh, lettering. I presume that was just uh, to help with calculating the square footage. Yeah, of that's the, correct. Yeah, okay. the box is not going to be that. No, they just help you work out how you okay. worked out what the square footage. Is. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about the fabric? Yes, it's a typical awning fabric. It's a, oh. it's a product called Cooley. I, I, I apologize, I didn't mean to bring a piece of it, but it's essentially the same fabric that is actually on the, on the awning. If you drive by a lit awning of some sort, uh, um, you'll see that sort of uh, fabric. It's a, it's a plastic, you know, a plastic material. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good longevity. Um, Good color attention yeah, within, the, within the framework of 20 years, I guess it fades. And the actual lettering on the front is vinyl as well. So, okay. Great, thank you. So, that, that is the first part of it. The second part. Uh, sorry, is, just, I just want to make sure Andrew and Andy. No, that's fine. No. You're good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the second part would be uh, what I'd style side B on the, on the second uh, drawing now. These are essentially uh, channel letters with uh, plastic faces. And what we're looking to do is replace the faces and also convert the neon inside the letter to LED. And um, the more substantive, substantive change, I, I, my guess is that you'd view that part as mere maintenance. Um, the more substantive part is changing what is currently a, a, a sign box, essentially, mm -hmm. to a, a V uh, logo. It's actually a, a, a logo, and again, that conforms to the new Valvoline image. So essentially, it's the same, the same square footage. Mm -hmm. so, and that's LED as well? So yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. And then the benefits of LED are uh, yeah. Yeah, a lot yeah. in terms of the power usage. And, uh, mm -hmm. Lot of energy and all that sort of stuff. Um, any questions on this one? First? And just to be clear, the uh, the the letters uh, will present with a white face. It's a white that, plastic, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Thank you. So, the question yeah. so again, the benefit of, of that of submit is that it's, uh, it conforms to the new new look, but it's also really a uh, a marginal change, I don't think it's a particularly onerous request, uh, I'd argue. Uh, and the, la the last component is really not a, um, I'm sure it's not anything that you 
necessarily be too concerned with, but we're really replacing the fabric on uh, the part of the building that you'd see as you, as you, as you drove northwest up Mystic Street. Mm -hmm. And that's just being pulled down, to letting the uh, fabric is being replaced and it's been put back up again. Okay. So I would argue that the, the, these proposals are very moderate in, in their scope. I mean, they don't affect anyone else in the neighborhood. Um, uh, I mean, I'd argue that they're very reasonable, or very reasonable proposals that uh, need to be considered in the light of a change of corporate image. Any other questions from board members? Uh, Carol, yes, if I, may. I didn't um, say this to the board, but I do observe that the new logo is roughly five times the size of the existing logo between the V and the brand name. Yes, we, we, we hope that we hope that you look favorably on that, given the fact that we are reducing the, the overall square footage of the signage mm -hmm. by um, you know, uh, 25 percent a century. One of the things that um, I have to deal with, we are a franchisee, um, is that we don't own the image. The franchisor of Abilene and Oil Change, which is owned by Ashland Chemical, owns the image. So anything that is approved um, in terms of proportions um, would then need to go, we couldn't just say, okay, well, this is what it was, so that's what we're going to do. Um, there has to be the proportion, and they are very, very um, scrupulous about uh, making sure that their corporate image is, is maintained. And that includes sizes and relative sizes of things. So we couldn't, uh, you know, the, the, the logos, and by the way, you'll notice that 20 years ago, it was a very small Valvoline and a very big instant oil change. Mm -hmm. and that, that the name of our company is not Valvoline, it's actually Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Um, and so it's important that they have that kind of weight to them. Um, and um, so that's why you'll see, and as Pete, Pete had mentioned, overall square footage of that whole sign is decreasing. But it's more closely related to what the proportions that the uh, Valvoline corporate would allow us to do. They simply, if, if we simply kept it the same size, they just, they, they wouldn't allow us to do that. Okay. Any Anything else, Karen? Uh, I just want the board to know, I did communicate with um, the sign representative to um, let them know that I had observed what I believe were some illegal signs on the site, which I think have been removed. They were. Um, and the hours of operation were outside of the hours of operation that were a condition of the special permit. The existing special permit um, specifies that the hours of operation can only be 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday, and 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday with no Sunday hours. And the last um, item was, it appears as though some of the landscape plants that were part of the original approval for the Environmental Design Review may have died over time. In 20 years. Yeah, in 20 years. I, I can see that that could happen. But it were, that they were part of the original approval uh, as conditions uh, that the Redevelopment Board placed on the uh, site. I mean, as soon as we became aware of the flags, I mean, yeah. um, Henley's a large organization, we had them removed immediately. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. 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 so um, in terms of hours, um, I, I can't, I, I don't know, but what I can tell you is, I mean, if that was past many, our, our hours, we haven't, in any of our 200 service centers, we've never been, or at least not since I work from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. I believe we do not stay open to 8 p.m. We, we're, it is, uh, generally speaking, uh, 7.30 or, or so, depending on the town, to 7 p.m. We don't stay open that late. Um, open on Saturdays and, and, and shorter hours on Sundays. But, um, the, I, I just think it's important for the board to understand and, the, and the, um, Mr. Gluck and Mr. Uh, March to understand that that's not currently allowed by the we, town's permit. That might be something you want to. Oh, I can. Look you know what? We can definitely look into that. I will check with uh, with our oper operations. And, and 
And I, I think the other part of that is too is maybe take a look at the landscaping too, just to see what was required back then because a lot of time and effort did go in and creating that plan. So, so even though it's side. twenty, even though it's twenty years old, maybe you just want to take a look at. What it's one of our. It's it, you know that it abuts one of the historic districts, so that's why it's a little more important perhaps than. So you have the hours of operation that were. It's right here. And we can um, provide you with a copy of the special comment. Saturday eight to five with Sunday. Which is what they are. So we're not the enforcing body, mm -hmm. um, but just so you know, there is the zoning enforcement officer who could, of course, do something about that and. Um, so therefore, you might want to look into it and, yeah. and schedule it another hearing it's, at some it, point. Um, since that's not an area I would, uh, of course, we'll, we'll notify the, the correct people, but it's not an area that I would uh, be in, involved in typically. Is it possible that um, the hours were that um, that they went before a board and had those amended and that it wouldn't be reflected in these? I just looked through the file and I couldn't find that. Okay. So you may well, want to check, check with your people. We'll look into it. Okay. Yeah. And we'll definitely find out. This is a document that's been actually typed right now. I, I know. Look at that. Exactly. Exactly. You don't see those too often. Given that amount of time, it's not surprising. It's not surprising that things might have changed with operation. But right. At a moment I think blue like laws have changed and everything else, yeah. but yeah. you know, it, it is in there. Okay. So we'll, we'll 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 get that addressed. Uh, any other questions from the board? Um, oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm half asleep here. Uh, any comments from the public about this particular thing? This is a public hearing. Uh, public comments are welcome. No? Okay. Seeing none, um, I'll entertain a motion if someone chooses to make it. Um, I will move to approve the proposed uh, re-signing, if that's the right word, uh, the new signage, yes. uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the Valvoline oil station at 82 Mystic Street. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I do think that's all the business for us uh, this evening. Thanks for our meeting. Okay, a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great.